Welcome, everyone, to a brand new season of This Was The Scene, the podcast that takes a look back at the late 90s, early 2000s punk scene. I am your host, Mike Doyle. Season one was all about the New Jersey scene. It was getting the viewpoint of people who were involved in the scene 20 years ago. This was talking to recording studios, zines, bands, promoters. Uh, who else the fuck were there? Um, just fans of music. Uh, my old bandmates, and I think I'm missing some, but you get the idea. The whole idea was just to reminisce and go back in time to see how we all saw that time period and what it meant to us. And I'm really proud of how it came out. It was uh, it was a complete thought from beginning to end. Episode 1 started off with Chris Badami from Portrait Studios, who was the reason why my old band, Lane Meyer, got to get heard by people. He was a recording studio that we found, and he recorded my first band, Congress of Cow, and then he recorded uh, my band, Lane Myers EP. And then each episode goes into talking to people that I was friends with, and then some bands that I didn't even know existed. And uh, it was it was pretty awesome. And the final episode was the perfect bookend, because it was me talking to my best friend, Chris, who was the front man, or the you know, other front man, but he was like the main front man, in Lane Meyer, and we got to just cap it off. And and like I said, for me, it was a perfect beginning and end. It, it's it's one complete thought, and and I decided to to cap it as a season. Halfway through, I was trying to think of like, well, how the fuck can I advance on this? Because there's only so many people I can talk to in New Jersey where you know some people just didn't want to talk, and there's a lot of interviews I still want to do, but I, I thought there'd eventually come a point where it was going to stop, and I thought, well, how the fuck can I advance on this? And one day it hit me. It was, why don't I talk to the bands that influenced me or I thought that influenced a lot of people in the scene and who we listened to? Let me talk to them and see what their whole perspective was of just the entire scene, not just New Jersey, but that time period. So I made a list and just like I did in season one, I just started Facebook messaging and texting and asking people that I knew, like Rob from LWL and Heath from Midtown to reach out to people. Oh yeah, and Rob Rob Hitt from Midtown as well. And it said, hey, I got this idea. I've got this list of people. Do you know any of them? And they said, sure, let us reach out. And they connected me with a lot of bands. And some bands that I thought wasn't even, they weren't even going to be possible to talk to. And they were like, fuck yeah, let's do this. As I'm recording this, I've got about 14 interviews in the queue. And uh, I'm fucking super excited about it. And it's a little different because last season I was talking to people that I knew or kind of knew, kind of knew, and we all grew up in the same state. But a bunch of these bands I have never even met, but I was a fan of the music. And so it was a little intimidating at first, but then I kind of got the hang of it. And I hope it comes across in these interviews. My idea now is just to keep this thing going without capping it as a season. So I, I promoted this as season two. But I, I think I just did that because when I'm uploading these, it says on like Libsyn is the program I use. It'll say like, you know, what season is this? And that'll tell iTunes that. But um, if I if just technically, if I put it as season two, that means that this would be episode one. So I want to keep it open as just season zero. Like this thing is just going to go on and on. And, I, and I've just looked at a lot of other podcasts and they just... They don't cap it at seasons. And the only series I see doing that is like Serial or I think it's pretty much it. I'm sure there's, you know, there's so many fucking podcasts that I'm sure they cap it. But yeah, so it's a long winded way to say that this is just going to be I'm just going to treat it as there is no season. This is just the continuous podcast. So that's why this is episode 29 and the next interview will be 30 and so on. So, yeah, so that was a very that was my technical reason. The big thing I really wanted to make sure I didn't do was ostracize anyone who was listening to the first season and got into the fact that it was just focused on New Jersey. So if this does make you upset that I am going to branch outside of New Jersey, I apologize, but I just had, I wanted to keep this thing going and to grow, I had to open the doors. Uh, so if you stop listening, uh, that'll suck, but this will hopefully open the door to so many cool interviews from not just bands, but venues, labels, um, maybe some super fans that were in different states, maybe local promoters that existed in like Chicago or, or Florida or wherever the fuck, you know, maybe even going oh, talking to people overseas. Who knows? Who knows where this is going to go? But this just opens up so much opportunity for me to expand on this idea. If there was a band that started in 2006 and wanted to talk to me, I'd say, fuck no, unless 
they grew up in that era and it helped them grow into the band that they became. Like I did with Doug Robinson's interview back in season one. The Sleeping happened in like 2003. Um, so, but Doug grew up in my hometown and he attributed his love for music from going to local shows in, in New Jersey in the late 90s. So that's why it was a perfect conversation. So if you have any ideas for bands that you think I should talk to, like feel free to either message me on Facebook or you can email me at this was the scene at gmail.com or you can, how else can you can message me on the Facebook page. You can tweet at me. You can send me a message through Instagram. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you tell all your friends about it and you subscribe and, and like things and, and follow my Instagram page. And I hope the people who are looking forward to Fridays are looking forward to Fridays again because I'm going to take this thing as far as I can fucking go. With that said, I hope you enjoy the direction I'm taking this, and uh, I hope you listen to the next episode, because this one's going to end right now.